Today's video is about a swarm of Japanese honeybees and some traditional Japanese beekeeping techniques. During the springtime, Japanese honeybees start swarming. Bees swarm for different reasons, one being that the colony has grown too large for the space they are occupying. Another important reason for swarming is to reproduce and keep the bee population going. In Japan, beekeepers capture swarms of Japanese honeybees during the spring and early summer months. One of the colonies at this apiary has swarmed and split into a primary swarm and cast swarm. The goal today is to try to reunite the swarm. This first swarm of bees is very small and is the cast swarm. Further back is the larger primary swarm. Only one of these swarms contains the queen bee. So the first task at hand is to locate the queen bee. Mayu has already found the queen bee in the larger cluster of bees. Here we can spot the queen. Although this is the larger of the two clusters of bees, it is still rather small, which makes finding the queen bee much easier. Since the queen bee moves so quickly, it can be really challenging to capture her on video. The queen bee is much larger than the worker bees though, so this does make it a bit easier to spot her. Here we can clearly see the queen bee. As mentioned before, she is much larger and is darker in appearance. Now that the queen bee has been located, the next step will be to use a blower on the cast swarm. The air from the blower will cause the bees to fly and the pheromones of the queen bee in the primary swarm will attract the bees from the cast swarm. Before using the blower, it's important to properly suit up. Even though Japanese honeybees tend to be more docile than western bees, the blower might agitate the bees, leading to the beekeeper getting stung. This is a technique that Mayo has used before with success. The bees from the cast swarm are now starting to join the primary swarm. There are still some bees flying around, but now the cast swarm has been dispersed and the majority of the bees have rejoined the primary swarm. After about 5 minutes, the swarm has now settled and can be captured and moved. To capture the swarm, Mile will use a brush and net. Since the colony is on the smaller side, it should be fairly easy to capture. When using this method, it's best to try to prevent the bees from flying around by quickly and gently brushing the bees directly into the net.
it's helpful to keep a wire like this on hand to close the net. Some of the bees have gone out, but it's not a problem as long as the queen is still inside. The bees that have escaped will soon follow. Next, the bees from the net will be transferred to this box. This type of hive is called a pile box hive and is commonly used in traditional beekeeping throughout Japan. You can learn more about this method on our website. This stand makes it very easy to transfer the bees. After placing the box above the bees, Mayu just undoes the wire. The bees prefer being in a darker area, so they start to migrate upwards into the box. It took about 10 minutes for the bees in the net to gather into the box. However, there are still some bees that weren't in the net. Mayu is using a small piece of wood to create a small gap so the bees can enter the hive and rejoin the colony. The colony was left for about three hours. Now it is evening and most of the bees have entered the hive. The final step for today is to finish setting up the hive. Mayo has prepared a hive stand. She very carefully slides the box containing the bees into place to avoid crushing any bees during the process. To make sure the boxes are secure, she uses a rope to hold the boxes together. Normally, a roof is added to the top of the hive, but since it is underneath the eaves of this building, it's not necessary. Thank you for watching today's video and learning a little bit about our native Japanese honeybee. If you have time, please feel free to check out our Instagram where we post daily about Japanese honeybees and beekeeping in Japan. We also have a website full of helpful information about our native bee. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below in the comment section. Take care and see you next time.